Hi, I'm Rob, and next up in this series of faction videos showing how to go through all these underworld factions at the hardest level using the Delve team. Easiest to hardest is Nurgoroth. Horde 115 for this. It's not particularly high. Another one of these ones which is not particularly fast, but again is fairly straightforward as long as you pay attention to a, a couple of things. One new thing I'm going to bring into addition to these videos is the Ideal kill order for the enemy team. This was suggested by Clip Bomb Chad. Pretty good idea, Clip Bomb. Cheers. This troop here just explodes a gem. The barriers an ally for each skull destroyed gains life. Not really a danger, just makes it longer and harder to defeat the team. This does transform green to a chosen colour, but the AI is not that clever with that kind of thing. And this troop here does do potential damage to all, so this is the one we're going to concentrate on taking out first. The team is Nyar Mel times two. Really good uh, a trait at the bottom. Psychic Backlash. Stun a random enemy when an enemy casts a spell. When an enemy casts a spell. That is actually pretty cool. But does true heavy splash damage to an enemy boosted by stone blocks. Explodes all stone blocks. Then creates three stone blocks. Right. Two of them. That's the most I've ever said. Stone blocks. Ever. Deep Dwarf, you can use that to generate green to a gem of a chosen colour. That's going to be pretty useful. We're going to look for red and purple for Nyar Mel for our Deep Dwarf. And Deep Golem, explode the gem. Barriers an ally for each skull destroyed and gains magic plus one life. So we'll be looking for ideally like three or four skulls to destroy in one go. Get most of the team barriered and take it from there. Should be reasonably straightforward. Just got to be just... A little bit careful of one or two things. Just because this is still early in how easy these are, doesn't mean to say you take them for granted and just think they're going to be an absolute walk in the park. They're all tricky in their own way. But we don't want any mahusive skull bashage from the enemy, so we'll take that skull hit when it's there. Always take a look, take a look out for double drops of, of colours. Always good to try and get the barrier going when you can. Don't always take green like this absolutely straight away. None of our team actually uses green. You're much better off looking for this kind of thing. Transform green to a gem of a chosen colour. We will grab that first though. Shouldn't upset this. We've still got this here. But um, there's a lot of green and purple around at the moment. So but we're only a few short of getting our second Nyar Mel up. So we're better off taking that like that first casting these we cast it on the second to bottom troop there because that's going to do damage to everybody or those three at least rather everybody being the ones that receive the splash damage now we can see if this is in our favor green to purple we've got a big amount of purple here anyways to be honest might as well take that but have we got any Green to red going on. Yes, we have, so we can use this. May as well take these extras while they're there. And dish out some more damage from the arm Let's finish that one off. Oh, that bottom troop is just going to survive if I... No, it's not exactly. Blimey, I can't say no to that. See you later, mate. That's them dealt with. Just got to deal with the top troops now. Yes, yeah, got ourselves a few barriers. Let's yeah, take a skull whack while collecting some red at the same time. And yeah, another skull whack for you. That's nearly finished. And that might have been there already. I wasn't actually looking. I was just getting carried away with um, matching gem colours and stuff. So that maybe could have been done a little bit quicker. But anyway, on to the next. Who do we have? Fangblade. Two times Lamia and Naga Queen. Naga Queen converts all yellow gems to red. Gives, in this case, 100 life to all allies boosted by gems transformed. So no damage, but don't want that casting too much. That's going to give a lot of survivability to the team. Charm a random enemy. So your own damage to yourself. And damage to an enemy, disease and poison. So yeah, they're all dangerous in their own way, really. So um, I'd just cast, I think, Lamia. The first Lamia, maybe. We're just going to do splash damage to those three. 
See how it goes with arrow at the bottom there. Right, we are going to receive some initial damage because these two troops do start with full mana, so nothing you can really do about that. But again, I don't want any unnecessary skull damage. We want to get our barrier going as quick as we can. So we'll collect some brown. This is a good chance to get a few barriers there. Protect us from some of this charm malarkey. Got a nice transform here. May as well take their matches when they're available. Again, do not want to take unnecessary skull wax. Right, so uh, actually, I'm gonna make sure I target that bomb troop at the same time. That's a little bit annoying. My top troop does not have a barrier, so quite keen to make it so. As some fella from Star Trek maybe possibly would have said. Barrier, super handy. Right, got a nice transform here. That's a nice amount of purple and red. I don't have a barrier for my top troop. If I had a barrier for the top troop, I would have taken this, but because I haven't, then I'm more inclined to cast this troop here. Make sure we collect that barrier. Surviving is what it's kind of all about. Very important to make sure you survive. Any green to... Oh, no, it's not a four match. But that is. Always best to get an extra turn if you can. Fairly close to taking out a couple of their troops now. Well, that wasn't very nice, was it? Let's ensure we pick up a couple of barriers. All right, they're about to lose their Lamias. No more our own team going around punching our own allies in the face. Not good. Not fully in the swing of this one again just yet, because, again, first time I've played this for a while. If you've had a couple of attempts at this already, checking out this video, you will find it maybe a bit more flowy than what I'm doing when you get used to doing it a few times. Green to red, green to purple, not really. This can be purple and brown, so I'll have a slice of that. I've only got two barriers on the team at the moment. No particularly good options on on this transform. So let's, let's pick up a couple of barriers then. So okay to take your time with these. I'm not looking quite as well as I could do for some of these transformy things. So I know this is quite safe at the moment because when we cast this top troop, we keep getting that nice buff up in life at the same time. Not a lot of value in taking that though, but we'll get my troop up that does the barrier. I'm not gonna say it is all about surviving. Again, nothing really for our 
Green transform me troop. So why not pick up some more more barriers and a bit more life. Give them a whack in the face. Now we've got a transform. Good. No, we haven't. I was, look I was looking at then. I was looking at red and purple. I was in a daydream then. Don't do that. Concentrate. Concentrate properly. Don't get careless. It's easy to make a mistake. And sometimes on some of these delves, not particularly this one, but one, literally one mistake can massively, massively cost you. Well, that's not too bad. We've got barriers all over the place. We'll concentrate now on taking out their troop, which is going to give them life. But that's taking them within one skull hit of being absolutely sorted out. I don't really want to give them a little extra turn, just in case they get a lot of benefit from it. But I do want red at the same time. So we'll chance it. See what happens. Good, they didn't benefit from that at all. Only one barrier on the team and it's offering me blue. That's not too bad though. Didn't get a mana surge from it though. Never mind. Get rid of them. They're about to give themselves a bit more life. But they won't last long. Fear not. It's all part of the game at this stage. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Both of these. give themselves a bit more life next round if they didn't just get taken out by that so that was pretty nice to get that done then and the last room so they've got a deep dwarf as well transforms the same dark smith does that damage to all so we have to keep an eye on that one but the armel is the one we want to take out first true heavy splash damage a couple of Cast of there and the armel could take us out. Uh, so we're going to take red as much as we can to deny their the armel red. Or picking up barrier at the same time. They are mana blocked on purple. So. As long as you keep getting the barrier. Should generally be okay. Right. So. Green to purple is looking rather good straight away. Rather nice start. Again, haven't got barrier yet. You can either choose to do the skull hit or you can choose to take advantage of something like this and just destroy loads of skulls. Getting plenty of barriers all round. Right, so let's start doing some damage to the Nyamel. And we've got this again. Mana surge, mana surge. My other Nyarmel is ready next round because of the potion of enchantment, so I can cast this one now. Give themselves a couple of barriers, but we'll get rid of that. Still got three out of four barriers, so not essential to cast that. This is going to get our transformer up. Oh, you got green to blue, but that's not really any good. It's green to purple or red, which is what we're looking at. And on that, it is not so hot. So no need to cast that. Much rather cast this, ensure ourselves. Even more armor, even more barriers. Now we have this transform here. Yeah, providing you just do these things 
you know, correctly, the right way, it's not too bad, this one. Pretty straightforward. And there's two lots of red, hopefully any RML doesn't take one, but it did. Got barrier, so I don't mind giving them that, or this skull hit if they decide to take it. We can get a barrier back any time we feel like it and a bunch of extra life. At the same time, let's keep chipping away at these troops at the bottom here. Keep taking red, stop there, and the armel taking red. What we got next? Again, when the enemy's got a lot of life, it's much better to just get a barrier. I think, oh, I didn't see that before match there. That was me not paying proper attention. The AI generally, uh, generously left it beyond there anyway. Very nice of it. All right, let's... Um, let's get rid of that middle troop. Yeah, go on. You have a go. Let's put there in the armel into range of death on the next one, which is just as well because it's just about to to cast. Oh, well, this green to red or purple looks promising, surely. Ah, it's not that great though. First glance, that looked like it was going to be really good. Might do it anyway. Then the armel is charged, and we're going to get quite a bit out of it. Yeah, that worked out nice. And yeah, the armel's got a barrier, so I need my second armel charge really to. Hit it twice. Make sure it does not survive. Don't you give him another barrier? That'd be annoying. Right now, let's let's left these two troops side by side, which means we do now benefit from some of the splash damage. Green to red, green to purple. Is it any good? It's not amazing. Right, so now it's just a bit of a battle, just charging up your new armels to whack away at them troops at the top till they are done for. Uh, Green to red, green to purple. Yeah, I think I might do it on purple. We're the only ones that use red now, so you, you kind of change tactics a bit. You kind of start taking the purple instead. The enemy doesn't use it. Well, that's when it gains life. That's what that's damaged for. We'll get rid of this bottom troop first now. I'll hit the top troop first to just take away the barrier from that one. We'll hit him next. We'll do that anyway, just because it's there. 510 life. Not tons when the enemy hits 259. That gets our Nyarmel up. Let's get rid of him. And take that skull whack because we don't want that ourselves. And it's just a case now of dealing with that last opponent. They use purple and, and brown. So do we. 
So we can just keep on taking any purple and brown, give them less chance of charging their spell. Get some barriers, a bit more armor. Oh, and they dropped on the purple anyway. What do you know? That's the way the game does things. Right. Green. It's purple. Good. Do it. Take purple while they're there for my team. Got a brown anyway. And you can take these skull hits. It's going to chip away at them because it does get there eventually if when you start dipping into their life. can't remember if this is the same order I've done this in before. I'm not sure if it's actually best to get that top troop out of the way first. The trouble is if you leave that top troop, then you might potentially leave Nyarmel potential to do a lot of damage. And you don't want that either. So this is a more long-winded way of doing it, perhaps. But the idea with these is to see the end of the game, basically. Get it done. So as long as it gets it done, I don't mind. We can speed it up a bit now. Let's take that purple, stop him getting that. And we've got this conversion here. Let's do that. So they're going to give themselves a little bit more life back now, but again, with this back-to-back -back casting of Arnie Armels, we will absolutely get there. That's a cheeky barrier. Let's do this while it's there. Just done that because I don't want that skull bash myself. Hopefully, I won't give him a purple drop after that. It didn't. Good. I don't mind taking some red. I'll take that to stop them from getting it as well. That's my second Nyar Mel up. We'll get there. The good thing about getting into their life with skull hits is because obviously the skull hits when the armor's gone, obviously it's beneficial because you're doing actually damage directly to their life now. It doesn't gain armor. So any skull hits will absolutely help out. Right, so we are absolutely going to get there. I'll do that because that's actually more damage than the RML now because it's a single hit, no splash damage effect. The boost is 18 in this case, but the skull hit is like 116 from the attack, so that's actually pretty good. All right, let's go the RML up and one hit. We lost a troop, but we don't care because we're just about to win. And done. Oh, we survived. How did it survive? I thought it was done and it wasn't done. Ah, what the heck? Do we have any green to our colours? Not really. I mean, you can give, do actually green to, to, to blue in a way and give this a chance to self charge. Uh, green to blue up here, rather. I don't know what I'm looking down there for. I think this delve is diving, driving me mad. Oh, we've got this down here as well. Let's do this. Well, that stuff charged and done that anyway, so by hook or by crook, 
by a random last cascade, we won the game anyway. So there it is, there's the Jurgaroth faction team, level 500. Did lose a troop at the end, but um, it doesn't matter because the the thing where you get the extra bonus points for doing it deathless, um, you can do it. Let me just go back. Faction info. Uh, the best delve with no casualties. You can actually do that with a normal delve team with these colors. It's uh, very easy to, to get done. Uh, purple and brown, that's where you can use the good old brown team with Charlestony and a gargoyle really really good and mang I've got videos on that but yeah that was that one done so there's a video if you enjoyed it found it useful helpful be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button it really does help but most of all thanks for watching i'll catch you again next time bye for now